another teaching, learning, coaching experience by Identify Point and File. I'm Jolena Square. Welcome to part two. We're going to continue the discussion with Jody, Linda, and Sharon on combat focus shooting the women. Well, Jody, did you ever have an uh, aha moment like, whoa, this, I, I really, this awakens me to the whole program, to everything that I'm working toward? Maybe the first or second time we went to Okeechobee when we were outside, mm -hmm. and always before we had stayed, you know, in at the range and in our little our little spot. So it was kind of like having blinders on. And then I think the first or second time we went to Okeechobee, there was so much else going on, and it was not stressful. I mean, from the standpoint of there was nothing bad happening around us. There was just other people and wind, and and then the one time we shot in the rain, and it. I think that was when I said, wow, if this is even a small part of what it would feel like mm -hmm. to be in a real situation, then I was like, well, I have a lot to learn. I've had several aha moments. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had an aha moment before I went outside. <laughs> yes. I uh, was petrified to have my gun loaded next to my bed and uh, really you and I had many conversations many conversations about that and now I'm very comfortable with having that but that was a real aha moment that I could have my gun loaded next to my bed and it wasn't going to go off okay. uh, another thing is with the, the trigger control I um, couldn't understand why my shots were going down and to the left and um, with your coaching and training, learning the trigger control certainly got me on target. Great. You have a new gun. Why? I do. I, I had a Glock, and that's what I've been using for the past two years. And um, I liked yours. What gun are you using now, Jody? A Springfield XDM. Uh, as of yesterday, that was the first time I had used it last night, and I had always uh, used a Glock, mm -hmm. and I like my Glock, but I like this one better. How does um, it feel? It's heavier, it's heavier, but I think more balanced, and um, I just, it's a little easier for me. The grip, I like the grip better, I like the release better, and uh, so far so good. What kind of gun are you using, uh, Linda, and what made, what was the decision process for you, because I know you, like me, have arthritis in your hand, so right. you have to be careful of what you buy because it has to fit your hand a certain way. Well, I didn't have your advice when I started out, so I bought a revolver because I was told that was better if you have arthritis. And so when you, when I started training with you, and you really encouraged me to use the semi-automatic, I thought, I can't rack it, I can't, it's just, I can't do it. And that's when you explained how you have arthritis also, and you recommended the Springfield SDM. So I'm using the semi-automatic, and I love it. You have, you have an extended magazine release on yours? Yes. Yes, you do. It makes it a lot easier yes. for us that have arthritis, even the ones that don't. It's, okay. it's made for a woman's hand. Okay. I have the Glock as well, and it has the extended release, and it makes it so much easier. One of the things that impressed me, but, and I think that's part of becoming one with your gun, is being able to take your gun apart. It has basically four parts. And it's very simple, and I think the simpler the better. So being able to clean it and take care of it myself, I, it makes me have a confidence that I can, um, you know, take care of the gun and shoot it and defend myself. I know we've all had a cleaning party at our house, yes. and uh, that's part of our training program so that you can be one with the gun. Yes. Uh, learning to shoot and being in the combat focus program affected your confidence at home and at work? I, I definitely feel um, like I can, I can take care of myself and I can defend not only myself, but I could defend other people. I could defend my coworkers. I could defend my family. And that makes me feel empowered and it gives me self-confidence. But it has changed me. I think I'm more aware. That's, that's, I, I am yes. so much more aware of my surroundings, whether it's walking to my car from the office or walking from the mall to my car. Uh, the confidence that I gained in this and knowing that I can actually use a gun and I can actually aim and be effective, it's made me regard the enemy as smaller than bigger. I don't see enemies out there as being all-powerful. 
I see that I have a, it's like raised me up. And what is the difference between training at the countertop and training outside? Has it empowered you? Do your, is your confidence stronger? I think so. I think it's, um, I think, a commendation to you and Bob. Uh, it's the fact that that's part of the essence of your coaching is giving us the confidence. You have produced an environment that makes it easy for one to learn how to shoot a gun. And I think that builds confidence, and I appreciate that so much. I can't thank you enough. What are the firearms training challenges for you, Jody? I think for most working women, uh, time, obviously, is, is always a challenge, but like anything, if it's, you know, if you want to do it right, you have to put the time into it. So I make the time for it. Linda, um, how has the impact of firearms training been on your networking? You mean in terms of sharing with others yes. about? Yes. Try this. Well, I like to show them the little video clips sometimes, and they'll be so surprised, like, what, you're doing that? I just did it the other day up in Chicago, and my friend said, oh my goodness, that's, I'd love to do something like that. So I think that, um, and, and they'll say to me, I can't believe you're doing that, you know? So they look at you differently. They do. They, oh yes, in fact, some of the men at the office really look at me differently. <laughs> How does that stress between home work and I, training? I think it's good because it gives you a release, and I need that. I think it's a, a great release from um, the stress of work and situations. That mm -hmm. uh, I think it, it it's a great stress releaser. And I have two aha moments. One was when we did the 9-11 drill. And the 9-11 drill, we basically were pretending like we were at home and our gun was in front of us on a table and we had to run and pick it up and load it and call 911 all at the same time while we're trying to get the information to the 911 operator. And um, it was hard and, you know, Remembering just to load the gun was hard, mm -hmm. and then there was this extra magazine. I don't even know what I did with it. I mean, I was supposed to keep it, but that was an aha moment because that wasn't even real. I mean, that I knew it wasn't real. And the other aha moment when you were talking about stress was the day I came to the range and I had gotten caught in traffic on 95. I had left a little bit late and I was so stressed when I finally got to the range. It took me like 10 minutes to settle down before I could even hit a target. Imagine that though the stress you would be under if, if it was real. And so that was an aha moment to me to just, you have to be able to just stop, breathe. Some of the books that I've read, they have been aha moments because of the psychology that goes along, uh, the, uh, the mental preparation that's needed. It's not just a matter of learning to hit a target. There's a whole, there's a physiological aspect of what happens when you're under stress in a critical dynamic moment. But then there's also the psychological processes. And they, it, they sync with other areas of my life. That's what I thought was really interesting. I think it was an aha moment uh, to begin with to, you know, I thought going to the range shooting was just going to be one, two, three. <laughs> Turns out it's a lot more to think about. And, um, and I learning to shoot. You paused in your training for a while but then you came back. Was it because you realized that it's an ongoing yes. process, that you have to increase your skills? Without a doubt. It, it absolutely is. And um, I'm just thankful that you, uh, in your wisdom or and patience, were able to show me what I needed to do. Thank you so much for watching today. We hope you enjoyed our video, and we look forward to hearing from you. Please don't hesitate to call or email us if you have any questions or thoughts. Thank you. Thank you.